Good morning guys! Welcome to day 7 yep, of Vlogmas. I'm sitting at my desk here, my um, beauty, what is this called? Vanity. <laughs> and I'm looking through my um, planner for the week, sneak peek of that, so that I know that I, so that I can see everything that I have written down for today and make sure I have like a mental list of everything I need to do. I'm also packaging orders, so taking out all my stickers, got my orders right here, and I'm going to be looking through them to see exactly what I need. So if you have an open order with me, my plan is to get everything out today. I also will be posting new listings this morning, so by the time you guys see them, they will have already been on the shop. I'll have a link to them down below. Sorry if I sound weird. I mean, aside from the fact that it's early in the morning and I just got the girls off to school and everything, I can't really hear out of my left ear. I don't know what it is. It's feels clogged so I can't really hear how I sound so if I sound weird I apologize I right, haven't been taking my pictures for the new listings so I totally forgot being sick on Saturday I had asked well I told you guys I had Bia had asked me if I wanted her to pick me up an elf on the shelf so I told her yes and she brought it Saturday because she was going to come with us to the winter fest and she actually gave it to Andres in the midst of me being asleep and vomiting and all kinds of stuff. So this has been in our laundry room for the last few days. And I totally didn't even remember or think about it. And Andres never said anything. So here it is. And I had her get the girl one because I have two girls. So I just thought it was the most fitting. You know, to be honest, I just wanted this because I've seen it all over Facebook and Instagram and I thought it was like a neat thing for the kids to do, but I really have no idea what to do with it. So it comes with a book and apparently you're supposed to read the book. So maybe I'll read the book ahead of time so I know exactly what to do. And then, um, oh, you register the elf's name from Santa and there's our elf. Okay, so I read the book. It says that you have to read the book to the child, well, to children in my case, and name the elf. And I, the only thing I'm confused on is like, do I put her somewhere? They can't touch her, so I really don't know. I guess she's supposed to go somewhere, but I don't know if like I should be like, okay, she's the elf and then put her somewhere or I just put her somewhere and read the book and then be like, oh, look, there she is. I don't, maybe I should Google it. Go ahead, shake, shake. So you guys asked me about our dogs, <laughs> so there's one of them. There's Dulce, I'm trying to let him. I know the second I let him out, he'll shake. But he hurt his paw, so he needed a little extra attention and TLC today. Look at all that hair though, they shed like crazy. So there's the other fur baby. So this one's Bella. Say hi, Beta. Hi. And then this is Dulce. So Bella is a Chihuahua Terrier mix. Dulce, oh, oh, hi. Dulce is a um, Cocker Spaniel Lab Mix and Dulce's handicapped. So, I don't know. He's limping right now because his front paw is a little inflamed from, I guess he stepped on something. It doesn't have anything embedded in it and it looks a lot better, but he's limping a little. But his back legs are actually handicapped and he was born that way. When we adopted him, he was like that. Huh, huh, BB. And as you can see, they're very gentle. They don't listen that well, but they're very gentle. It's just Maddie is absolutely terrified because Dulce, I don't know if it's because he is handicapped, he loses control a little bit and goes a little cray. Like he is just a very vivacious dog. I mean, you wouldn't be able to tell from here, but when he's around kids, he just is very vivacious. So he tends to no yep see like he just he just like he's playful he's nine years old they're both nine but he's just extremely playful you okay oh you okay your paw looks a lot better i know see he just it, which doesn't bother adults but for maddie he just is ex way too playful for her he doesn't know how to control himself very well and so because of that he gets in her face and licks and tries to be playful with her and she's absolutely terrified. Terrified to the core where she is like literally shaking, screaming no. So yeah, we kind of have to take shifts with the dogs. Like 
they come inside and playful with us during the day or if Maddie's down for a nap and stuff, but at um, whenever she's here, they usually run around outside and they have a nice yard to play in. They have a nice dog house and stuff. So they're good. They just, we need to get past this phase in life where Maddie's terrified. Emmy was terrified when we first got her too. And now she's fine. So say bye. Come on. Come on. Who wants a snack? Who's gonna lay on the pillow? Do say? Beta? Come on. Good job, fella. Lay down. Oops. Okay, all done. On the pillow. Lay down. We have this cute little dog treat thing that we kind of just throw dog treats in there for them so like right now we have some of those rawhide bones they really like these these are holiday ones little sticks to where they can eat the entire thing we give them those really when they're outside because they eat them for a long time they have some like faux chocolate cookies some beef steaks little pepperoni bites they're all dog friendly but some of them look like I have to be careful because some of this stuff, like the cookies especially, look like children could eat them and I don't want Maddie to get a hold of them. So we keep this either out on the counter or beneath the sink for them to have when they're good. Or really not even good because they're not very trained. So <laughs> we just kind of give them to them whenever. They're spoiled dogs. I totally didn't mean for this to turn into like a dog uh, vlog at all. I just thought, I guess I never really vlog them um i mean even when friends and family come over i don't really have them in the house too much just because bella's a really good dog but dulce ever since he was a puppy he just we put him in training and everything and he just can't he has a hard time controlling himself which is fine like everyone loves him and adores him when they're outside but when he's inside he is hard to control so when he's just here with me he's really good huh I let them roam around it doesn't bother me any and then when they have to go to the bathroom I put them outside it's not a big deal but unfortunately with Maddie being like deathly afraid <laughs> it's just a no-go when she's here so like I said we usually swap them in and out put them outside when she's here and keep them inside when she's not here and then they are kennel trained so we have a smaller kennel outside and we have a larger kennel in the garage that we bring indoors at night for them to sleep in and aside from the fact that we have a two-story house there's no way that and our stairs are wood floors there's no way that he'd be able to get up and down them safely by himself so we don't trust him when we're not here I would just die if he fell down the stairs so yep those are our fur babies that are a pain in the butt but we love them have my last uh, custom order cutting over there I got the rest of them done now I'm going to clean up this kitchen a little bit I mean it's just a few dishes from like last night's dinner and some leftovers that I threw out and everything I'm heating up some this I don't know I guess it's like a mozzarella ricotta pasta that I made for the girls last night that I really wasn't into eating so I'm heating up that for lunch and then I'm going to run to the post office it's currently 12 26 whoop whoop bitch birthday so I'm just going to load this in the dishwasher and then get on with my day okay all the new listings are now live so by the time you guys watch this tonight everything will be up on my HKD designs Etsy shop in the new release section so that you guys can go check it out i will have the link in the bottom bar below along with the coupon code if you guys are interested headed to the post office with my laundry basket once again and then after that i think i'm going to go to toys r us because they have this tricycle that i think we're going to be getting well my mom's going to be getting santa's going to be getting for maddie um and i think they have it at toys r us and i have a coupon to toys r us spend 100 get 10 dollars off plus toys r us 
does price match and I found it on Amazon for $73 so I'm hoping that I can get the bike plus a gift for my older nephew for the $100 so that I can use the price match plus the coupon that would be amazing and then after that I will be picking up Maddie because Andreas is working today like he was like a mid shift so he um, won't be home with us tonight so I'll have to take Maddie with me to Emmy's soccer practice which is always a feat so I'll have to make sure I pick her up go get Emmy come home get her change for soccer pack a bag with snacks like dinner and everything and then head to soccer practice and then come home do bedtime routine and get everyone in bed so I don't know how much filming I'll get done I'll definitely try and get a lot filmed you guys but I'm, I'm not exactly sure because it's gonna be hectic and I don't know if you guys can tell I have a nice cold sore right there on my lip I guess that's what I get for being sick I just got out of the car at Toys R Us and I seriously don't even know why I bothered wearing a jacket it's like 75 degrees out here I swear it's hot I found it at Toys R Us it's the radio flyer four-in-one trike so she actually could have been using this a long time ago because it's from nine months to five years but I figured better late than never and then I got a Spider-Man toy for my oldest nephew for Christmas. I got one little monster with me who's being shy. You don't want to say hi? Now you want to say hi? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, say hi. <laughs> yeah, did you have a good day at school today? Yes. What'd you do? Oh, okay. Oh, you had food? Yes. What kind of food? Uh, peas. Peas? Yes. And chicken. And chicken? And milk. And milk? Yes. Whoa. Pasta. And pasta? Yes. Whoa. And what else? Did you color? Mm. No? Okay. Did you take nap? Yeah. Yeah, you took nap? Yeah. And what else? Four. Did you miss mommy? Did you miss daddy? Yeah. How about and sissy? sissy? And sissy, oh, well we missed you too. Hug, hug sissy. Oh, you're gonna give hug to sissy? Yeah. Okay, she's gonna love that. And a kiss. And a kiss? Yeah. Okay. Me, I have a purple smiley face coming. Good job. But I was actually on blue, but my teacher moved Hi, me off in the end of the day, Hi, I see. Awesome. I'm a mom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are you doing? I think she's learned how to like actually get up off the ground. Yeah. So now that she likes doing that, right? Yeah. Mom joined us for soccer practice today. And I made the girls lunch, or no, dinner, um, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Maddie, bring your ball over here, please. Get it and bring it over here. And there's Emmy out there taking another lap. Good job. Bring it over here. Say thank you. Cheese. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> She's like, okay, oh, cheese. That's right. Cheese. Yeah, who's ham? Cheese. Say yeah, cheese. Yeah. Look at mommy. Maddie. Yeah, cheese. Look at mommy. Cheese. <laughs> you can't touch her. She has magic in her. Magic? Yeah, she was delivered from the North Pole. How does she have magic? Because Santa put magic in her. Magic. Yeah. What? Look, we have to read the book. We have to read the book. And then she can move. No. How can she move? Hey, come sit up here with me. Uh-uh, don't touch her. Don't touch her. Because she's mad. Mommy, how did she come magic? The North Pole delivered her. We got a package in the mail. It said, to Emily and Madeline from the North Pole. Huh. Cool, huh? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Have you ever wondered how Santa... We have to name her first. What are we going to name her? Don't touch her. You can't touch her. What are we going to name her? No, -uh, you can't touch her. Aurora. Aurora? You want to name her Aurora? Yeah. Okay. Like Sleeping Beauty? 
Yes. Okay. So Aurora is going to. Ah, ah, you can't touch Aurora. You hear mommy? Come over here. Come over here. You can't touch Aurora. Okay? So every night, Aurora is going to go to the North Pole and tell Santa how we've been. Right? Today? Yep, starting tonight. Yay! Every night, Aurora is going to go to Santa and say, oh, Emily and Madeline have been good little girls today. <laughs> or he's, or she's going to say, Emily didn't have a good day at school, or Madeline wasn't listen, listening to Mommy and Daddy. No. That's right. We don't want Aurora to tell Santa that, right? Yeah. Okay. I think she's going to tell Santa that I... I'm so we're going to leave her right now, and then she's going to go to the North Pole tonight and tell Santa how yeah. today has been so far. And I'm to... Yep, and then tomorrow... When she comes back from the North Pole, she'll hide somewhere in the house. You'll have to look for her. That's weird. I know. And then Santa brings the presents? Yeah, if if uh, Aurora tells Santa that you have been good. Baka has Santa. Tomorrow she's going to come back and hide. Mm -hmm. I think she's going to hide in the bathtub. Oh, you think? Because well, we have to see. I don't know. We have to look around and around in my room. Not probably not in your room. I don't know. Somewhere else in the house, we'll have to look for her. Every morning when we wake up, we'll have to look and see where she, where she planted herself. Okay. Like under the tree. Because, I don't know because that's, that's a good actually. hiding place. I have no idea. We Mommy. have to leave her though. We have to Mommy. leave her. Say good night, Aurora. Good night, Aurora. Yes, that worked. So now I just have to figure out where to put you, Aurora. Such a unique name. I guess I'll start out somewhere simple. But I don't want them to touch her. So I guess I should put it, oh, maybe in a stocking. That'll work. Oh, she looks a little nuts up there, but that's okay. <laughs> I think this is going to work. I'm so excited when we were headed up the stairs. Even Maddie was like, la you, Aurora. So <laughs> we're good to go. Okay, so girls are in bed. Now it's time to wind down, relax, and answer some questions for you guys. I don't know how long this vlog is so far, so I'm going to answer as many as I think I can get through, and then hopefully it's not like a 30 minute vlog. You guys don't seem to mind, but it's hard for me to edit, and it takes forever to upload when they're longer than like 20 minutes, so let's just jump right in. I did wanna point out first off that thank you guys so much for all of the sweet comments. I am feeling much better, 100%, like didn't even feel sick at all today, and thank you also for all of your suggestions on the helmet. I thought it was really cute that a few of you were really sad to see Emmy cry and if you noticed I put both of their meltdowns in the video which typically if Emmy doesn't really melt down um, every once in a while I'll catch her like a slight talking back and stuff but Maddie of course she's two she melts down often but I usually don't put things like that in the video just because no one really wants to see kids be bratty and stuff and I say that very loosely because I by no means no means would consider my children bratty. I'm a very tough mom and um, I expect a lot out of them and it's just how I was raised and although my mom was a lot more lenient with us than I am with my girls, it's just my personality. I'm very type A and I expect what I expect and I mean that's it. I don't play games. So, you know, two, six, it doesn't matter. I'm tough on them and it is what it is. So for Emmy especially, a lot of you felt sorry for her because you've never, I think you expect a two-year-old to like melt down and cry every once in a while, right? Like she's two. But a six-year-old, it breaks your heart to see her cry. Well, she was upset mostly because she wanted to practice riding her bike. She's been so excited to try and ride it without training wheels and all this stuff. And we haven't let her for a long time. So she was really excited to try it. And then when we said, okay, it's time, you know, it's getting too dark, whatever, we're going to go for a walk. She thought, it was because I did it like she did something wrong and I just I didn't want her to continue doing it without a helmet and she didn't really look at it like that she was looking at it like I'm not getting to practice anymore not as mom's trying to keep me safe because I don't have a helmet and she actually does have a helmet I shouldn't say that but it doesn't fit her and her, it doesn't fit her head like the size of her head but it also doesn't fit when she has her hair up like that. And the thing is, is her hair's up in braids 99% of the time. 
So it's really tough for me to take everything out and put a low braid so that she can have a helmet. So I'm just going to have to figure something out, especially because she is getting a bigger bike for Christmas. So we'll work it out. So that was the majority of the comments. Um, was the helmet and about her hair and about me feeling better and stuff. But there were a couple that I want to answer. Zoila Givedo, Givedo, I'm so sorry, I probably butchered her name. Um, thank you. She said, love your videos. Can you tell me which Santa app you're using? So literally I went on um, Apple apps and typed in Santa and it was the first one that popped up and it ended up being really great in fact Emmy today was like can we call Santa can we call Santa I'm like Santa doesn't need to answer your calls every day Patty Miss Arena I love a good love story how did you and Andres meet if you've been following my videos for a long time I've talked about this before but we actually met at Olive Garden so I started working there in February of 2007 and at the time he was visiting his mom in Mexico or maybe it was just his family no I think he was visiting I think he was just visiting his family in general in Mexico. So he was on vacation. So I think like several weeks later, he came back. And I remember if you've ever been a server at a restaurant, right before your shift, you have like a team huddle, you know, to talk about what section you're going to have, talk about goals for the day and stuff like that. So we were in like our team meeting and he walked in a little bit later and somebody was like, oh yeah, nice to join us, blah, blah, blah. And he looked at me and I was like, oh, I don't know who this guy is, you know, whatever. I was fairly new to the restaurant and he had been there for several years. So as time went on, I started to meet people and started to hang out more with people after work and whatnot. And at the time I was only 19, I had just turned 19. And he had asked me one day after work, we were both in a closing shift and he had asked me if I wanted to pick up one of his tables and he would give me this like dessert card, like for a free dessert. I had another table, so I was like, okay, you know, no big deal. So that was the first like true interaction that we had with each other. Another time, a friend, a mutual friend that we work with invited me to go tubing and or we were talking about tubing and then Andres was like, well, you should come. And I was like, um, yeah, maybe. And he was like, okay, yeah, you know, you should come. We're all going to meet here, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, whatever. Mind you, at the time I was 19, he is nine, nine and a half years, a little over nine and a half years older than I am. And so 19 years old, like now to me, it's not a big deal. But at 19, I was like, what is this old man doing talking to me? Like, I just don't get it. Which is awful because age seriously is just a number. Like, it really is, especially if you have the same mentality as somebody. But at the time, I was like, nah, I don't know about all this. So I didn't end up going tubing, and he called me out on it another day. He was like, why didn't you go tubing? I don't understand, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, I don't know. I was busy, whatever. So we had, at that point, had exchanged numbers for the tubing, and I never returned his call and was like, no, I don't. I don't really need to talk to you. It's fine. Well, then he called me again another day and was like, oh, you should um, meet me at the movie. And I'm like, no, I really don't want to meet you at the movie. But then he ended up calling me again to meet him at the movie. So I ended up meeting him for a movie. And the very first movie that we watched together was X-Men. X-Men something or other. I don't know. And that was nice. But then it was like, okay, you know, whatever. We're just co-workers. Well, then his best friend, which was actually his best man in our wedding, called me for his birthday. His birthday is June 3rd, and he called me. It was late at night. I was already in bed. I, well, it wasn't late. It was maybe 10 or 11, and he's like, hey, we're having a party at his apartment. Mind you, I still live with my mom. We're having a party for his birthday at his apartment. Um, he really wants you to come. He really likes you, blah, 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 and I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> I felt like thinking back, I feel so snobby because like he's such a... He's an amazing, amazing person. I'm so glad I just gave in and went because that night on his birthday, we hit it off. And at the time, I unfortunately had still had a boyfriend, which I promptly broke up with. He was a D-bag anyway. He was awful to me. And um, it just progressed from there. Our official boyfriend-girlfriend date is June 21st, 2006. So you can see how quickly it progressed. And we've been together ever since. We got married October 8th. 2011 and we adopted emmy november 2012 and we had maddie october 2013 so it's crazy how life progresses never give up on that person that's chasing you because if i had given up on him we would not have this beautiful home 
and beautiful family makes me emotional talking about it. Anyway, that was the end of the Q&A. That was probably a little longer than I wanted it to be, but I think I pretty much got all the questions out of the way. Don't forget to leave more down below if you're curious about anything. You guys seem to be really curious about Emmy and her, how her whole adoption and everything went. I hope that I've answered as many questions as I can. Like I said, I have an entire adoption video on my channel. I'll actually try and link that down below if you're interested in it. It talks about the whole process that we went to fostering to adopt and all of that good stuff and how she ended up in our home. So if you're interested, like I said, I'll have that link down below. But if you have any other specific questions about anything in general, I'd love to answer them in tomorrow's video. I hope that you guys are continuing to enjoy this, and I will see you manana. Bye!